I'm refinishing the second dresser in a three dresser set for a client. He wants another natural finish on number two tall dresser. These pieces are part of a vintage set belonging to his mom. This dresser is different in that it is not a mishmash of wood species, but a solid wood set that appears to be burnt. It's in really good condition. As with the number one dresser, these pieces have wood knobs and these knobs are really going to be a challenge. Okay, so this has been sanded with an orbital sander and I'm going to do some fine sanding. And I'm looking inside the drawers and if you can see, I didn't know if that was actually some kind of mildew or mold or something. But what it is, is actually the finish on the inside of the drawer is off. Now, why would that be? The only thing I can think of is somebody was cleaning the drawers with some kind of chemical and then kind of left it there. So it took the finish off. So, you know, when you have your furniture at home, don't put chemicals and leave them because they'll ruin these really nice finishes. there. I know I have tons of stuff to put away and find places for things and get my furniture settled but I keep washing the floor and I'm eventually going to paint it. So this was a really nice surprise and <laughs> after I opened the box I kind of realized what it is. Um, look, I got Amazon gifts. Look at this. It's a scraper in case, let me go into the light better. So sweet. Oh, that's going to be so nice. Yes, it is. Fabulous. What's this? A paintbrush, a beautiful paintbrush that I love, that I wanted. Sweet. Sweet. Putting that down. That is so nice. Did they leave a note? Let's see. Um, gift receipt. Oh. Norja. Thank you so much, Norja. I hope I'm saying your name right. So sweet. So kind. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh goodness, there's something else in here. Aha! Look at that. My favorite top coat. Flat out flat. So here we are today again on this dresser. Um, I've done as much, most of the um, orbital sanding that I can do. Um, and it's a sander with a uh, battery. I have a few battery operated tools up here because I have no, though I have lights and everything, my electricity is not hooked up yet. Um, but I'm doing the best I can in here. So today, I did some orbital sanding and now I'm starting with some hand sanding and you can see that even though this is a um, oh I don't know kind of a late modern um, probably 70s or so dresser that belongs to a client it, it does have some detail on it so um, you know it's going to need some fine hand sanding to get that right and as per the client, we are not staining it, we're leaving it natural. The good thing is it's um, it's hardwood, there's no veneer, which is lovely. Um, it's beautiful, it's just, um, oh, I'm kind of guessing, probably birch. It, it's pretty, it's, it's a hardwood, but... Yeah, so that's it. I have an extension cord that I've been running some things on. It goes out a couple hundred feet back to the house, so um, yeah, 
and that's what I'm doing now. So I'm not going to record any sanding of this because if you want to see me sanding, I did uh, the client's last piece, um, all sanded and done in natural finishes. And I plan to do the same with this one, but so I'll pick it up when I get ready to do my, my clear coating and final finishes. So have that chest of drawers all sanded and it's looking good. Underneath the blue cover there are all the drawers and I just have to do some fine sanding on those um, and clean them up and they'll be ready you know for clear coats and yeah I'm going to use the um, shellac, it's a clear shellac first and that will seal in um, any tannins and um, any knots and things like that on it so that it doesn't bleed through into my clear coat um, and it brings out the color really nicely after I do the shellac you'll be able to see um, how great the wood grain is going to look so yeah and so I'm doing my final dusting and working in the shop. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see, there's some bees in here. Uh, a bird flew in a little while ago, that was cute. And so let's just take a look here. It actually takes several times of wiping that down to get it all clean. Um, but I really want to get just a coat of shellac on it, so um, let's do that.
so that's one coat of the shellac and yeah it looks pretty nice I'm just gonna do a little bit of sanding and kind of tough because I'm on a dirt road and people do drive by sometimes you know um, mostly residents I'm sure but you know you don't want to have a wet coat of something and have somebody drive by <laughs> so yeah look at look at this part it's my favorite it's just so pretty I'm not awesome at knowing what kind of wood that is but I'm gonna guess that it's maple it's really beautiful it's a little uneven there um, but I'm gonna sand it down I think what I'm gonna do this time is lay it down on its side and that way I can actually get a better look at uh, my surface while I'm putting the shellac on. So yeah, let's get started. So this is a 3M sanding pad. It's just the super fine. I don't want to dig into the shellac. I just want to take any nibs and nubs off of it to make sure I have a clean surface. I'm just prepping it for more coat. Here we are, all paired. Actually, the hardest part about doing this is um, working with technology. That's the least fun and the most difficult part. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess it's okay if you have the fancy stuff, but, you know, have nothing fancy. Have a cell phone and a couple of different uh, phone holders, none of which work very well. I keep buying them and um, trying to see if there's something a little bit better that doesn't cost a million dollars. So, yeah. Let's start at the top and I'll go around back. So this is what? This is, I think this is the third coat.
Okay, so I'm about to do my last coat of shellac here on the top. And it doesn't look bad. I could actually, I mean, actually I'm gonna see what it looks like once I sand it. But I can see that there are a few um, bare spots. So I'm gonna sand it again, I should say. I'm gonna sand it again and probably do one more coat. And then I'll sand it again and do my clear coats. Yep, and we'll be all done. Actually, not all done because I still have the knobs. So I used a stripper on them and they look pretty good, but they need some sanding. But that's something I can just kind of sit down and take my time and do all those knobs. So yeah, here are the drawers. So I did two coats. My last coat was last evening, and these need to be resanded, and um, that's going to be it. And then the clear coat. So yeah, I don't need tons of shellac on those. Uh, basically, really just the top. But um, yeah, it's looking good. Moving along. This is a piece of 240 that's kind of worn down. And what I'm trying to do is take all of that shininess off from the shellac, um, because this is my last coat of it. And we're going to be putting down the clear coat. Now I have a light, it's going to be really bright, I have the light above which kind of casts a little bit of a, a glare on my workspace so what I have is a light over here that you can see on my ladder and it's shining in from the side so that I can see any deviation as much as possible without taking it out into the daylight. But I just wanted to show you a little bit of an example of what I have right now. Um, just, just you know, minutes to hours of, of sanding. So this, this surface, I want to be the very best surface that possible because when my clear coat goes on, I want that to have the nicest finish that I can possibly get. So it's looking pretty good, a little while longer, especially on the top. So on the top surfaces and on the drawer fronts, um, is where I'm really concentrating. The sides look pretty good. I didn't need to do a lot of um, surface prep there. It's fine sanded and it looks good. There's no bubbles or anything like that. So I'm satisfied with that. But this is where people are gonna walk and their eyes will go right down to the top of this surface. So this is what we're doing. So here's part of the drawer um, that I've been working on. I had a good size divot. And so I filled it in. I filled it in and sanded it down several times actually and um, it has a, a couple of coats of shellac over it um, and so I have it down nice and smooth there um, I don't know if you can actually see it but um, you can see it uh, but you can't you can't feel it so if you run your finger over it <laughs> maybe a tiny bit but I can't <laughs> if I sanded it down more I would actually start making a groove in it so this is that's pretty much as good as it gets as far as the filling it filling in of it. So I'm gonna do um, one more coat of shellac so that it's completely saturated, and then I will put some coloration on it. And sorry for the noise, four wheelers down here. Um, and then we'll add some color, you know, and see if we can hide it, you know, as much as possible. Uh, but that's the only thing. Um, the knobs, I'll show you the knobs. So, really, really difficult to work with. I don't know, I want to say that they're probably ash. The wood is really, really hard. I have um, done stripper on it. Um, I've sanded it uh, with the mineral spirits. Um, I have um, sanded it by hand. And it, seem, it seems that that's what I'm getting so far. That 
material, that old stain is really, really saturated into that wood. Um, you can see that uh, the knobs aren't really perfect, but they're kind of cool though. I mean, I, I like them. They're, they're odd, you know, and they're, they have a personality. But my thought is if I can find my Dremel tool, that's the last thing I'll try is a bit of fine sandpaper on my Dremel because um, I can't get in there without changing the, uh, the shape of those um, details, which I don't want to do. You won't see that as much, so you have bare wood here. After I put the shellac on, it's, you know, it's going to look more like this, which, I mean, it almost looks like a done piece of furniture, even just the way it is. Um, so after the shellac goes on the knobs, uh, it will hide the debris that's still left in those um, details. Okay, so, so we'll what I'm going to do today Oh, right now is uh, I'm gonna put clear coat on with a brush and I dampened my little foam roller a little bit and I'm gonna go over it with the foam roller make sure that's all nice and everything and so yeah that's how I'm gonna put it on I have my clear coat next to me which you can't see but I've stirred it up I'm going to start in the opposite corner. This is a new brush. I'm not sure how I like it. And yeah, I'm just going to, I'm just going to kind of put it on there, I guess. How, hi there. How are you? Good. Good, thanks. Walk in between the raindrops. Yeah. <laughs> we were out for a good one this morning. We just made it. Well, oh. we got back to the house and started pouring. Oh, boy. <laughs> These are brush tip uh, mohawk markers. And uh, there are several colors. Um, you can see the color by the strip stripe at the top. And I just, I chose two to start with. Um, I'm trying to get some light here, so I have it actually backlit a little bit. What I want to do is, um, but basically I want to take care of this, and there's a couple of other spots on the body of the dresser on the sides that I want to take care of. So um, let's see, I'll start with the um, lighter one, it's called Honey Spice. And, you know, I'm just gonna, I might even get a little, a little alcohol wipe. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let me get an alcohol wipe right? because this isn't like a regular paint. So if I used a water-based paint, I could wipe it right off if I didn't like it, but this is a little different. So yeah, the alcohol will take it off somewhat. So I just want to be, I just want to go slow with it.
Okay, so I went back and I got some regular glue, some regular wood glue. And what I'm going to try to do is use a little bit of the um, sawdust from from my one of my tools that I've used to sand. So this is one of the knobs and you can see the back of it and it has some like fine ridge detail in here and you can see all the finish that's still left on it and there's more detail in here. These are separate levels of just tiny grooves that are in here and these have been stripped 24 hours with a stripper and brushed off with mineral spirits. These have been sanded with a regular sander, um, a, a, a mouse sander with a point on it to get in here as well as I can. These have been hand sanded and now I'm about to do um, the last one with us. I got um, some tips and I'll show you. I'll move this out of the way. Um, I got some tips for my sander, uh, a whole bunch of um, tiny, small tips. These are as small as they get and I have pulled it off so it's almost to the edge of the bit here but even still even as small as this is and I'll show you this way it's too big to get entirely into this groove. It just doesn't fit in there. Um, so um, and these are all the all the other tips uh, that I got and whoops I'll pick that up later. This is an 80 grit that I'm using on these um, this is the last one to do. I can get it a tiny bit better, um, but this is using an 80 grit um, small sanding bit. Uh, but you can see that it just it doesn't all come off. It's it's just really, really tough to do. So I've spent some hours doing this just with the knobs. So I'm gonna do the last one. I'll turn the sound down a little bit once it's in the recording. 